Hey everybody, today we're gonna to talk about how to add images to Google Ads campaign. So if you have a Google Ads account or you're looking to run ads on Google, watch this video. I'm gonna talk about how to upload and use uh, you know, images and photos in different display campaigns and variations of where you can use images on Google Ads campaigns. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Turn on that bell for post notifications. Every week I like to share videos about digital marketing, SEO, Google Ads, and much more as a small business owner and agency owner myself. Uh, check out our channel and previous videos for a lot of information about anything digital marketing related. And let's get into it. So we're gonna talk about how to add images to Google Ads campaigns. And there's a couple different types of campaigns and images you can add. You can do smart campaigns if you're a local business, local ads if you're a local business, display and remarketing campaigns that work for any type of business, and also the new image extensions. There are different sizes and specs to use. So I'll put some resources here uh, that you can also find from a quick Google search. Uh, Google display ad sizes, Google smart and local display uh, ad sizes. And there's directions here that I'll put in the blog and in the video for resources. So let me minimize myself here. We will pull up my friend's Google ads account, exit out of this. So let's start with this campaign right here. And it should tell you if you go to settings, what campaign type this is, it says type local. So for a local campaign, if you go to all campaigns, what you can do here, and this will utilize your Google My Business profile and your location. So if you're a small local business, you can do local store visits and promotions. Um, this is great if you have a, an address, like if you're a retail business or a location-based business, make sure your email is connected and your Google My Business is connected to the account. It's very important. And once you do that, uh, you can go through and create the local campaign, name it here, uh, choose your language, you know, your budget, and you probably wanna go for calls and clicks for uh, people to call your business or driving directions, depending on the type of business you have. Uh, if you have a product feed, that could be pretty cool too, if you have like a local product feed, if you're retail. And then you wanna hit next. And you can go to the ad group settings, or we'll just put test here. Uh, we'll just put a fake domain. And you can put a headline, different headlines. Make sure to use all the characters and headline length. Uh, you got about 30 characters for the headline, that'll show up here. And then you get longer descriptions of 60, key, or 60 uh, characters. Make sure to fill out all the character length and descriptions, calls to actions, make it stand out, uh, make it as good as you can, offering your products and services and what makes you unique. Then you can have calls to actions, you know, buy now, call now. You only have 10 characters for this. Make sure to use all these. And then we get to the images. So this is where you add images and logos. So you can use your asset library if you already have anything uploaded uh, for the Google local ads. This is what they look like. Let's see if we can get an example here. A lot of them show in the maps. Uh, right here would be a local ad. Sometimes it'll show up with an image right here. So you can add images to the local ads. Uh, let's see if there's some better examples here. Right here's a local ad. That's a Google guaranteed ad, which also shows images. Um, so the local campaigns are really nice. They can show images, they can show products, uh, they can have a call now button. Um, a lot of them look similar to this. this is an old Android, and this is like the original local ads. Um, let's see if I can get you a better example. So let me move through with this example because it'll show us on the Google Ads campaign itself. So we can add a couple images here. We can also scan the website go to this website, see if it can scan anything in. I'll show you that really quickly. Sorry, my computer's a, a bit slow when I'm trying to showcase. And you can also upload ads or images. You can scan Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. 
I pulled this image that you can pull into a square and rectangular image. Uh, if you go to select the image, the dimensions here, it'll give you dimensions. You can also upload the logo. Or you can go to the upload button and uh, upload something custom that you've created. So upload something there. Just need to make sure it fits the specs. Right here, it'll give you the requirements for images. Um, you can also find that in their help support articles and the size requirements for a logo, 116 by 116, max 512 kilobytes. So then you choose these. You can use this one here. Uh, we don't have the right ad size for that, so we're just gonna choose landscape. Actually, this might be a good for a logo. Nope, we're gonna go landscape. And for this one, let's see what we can do here. This would be a good square image. And also do the logo image. So we'll choose logo. We'll save those. And then it'll show you on the right hand side here what it would look like on Google Maps, on display, which would be other, you know, other websites. Make sure. Uh, and you want to upload a video too. So let's just pull up a random video and so these will work for like, you know, local YouTube ads uh, for display or whatever. So let's copy this. And you can put the video here. You can upload up to 20. So if you have a channel, you can use a lot of videos from your channel. Just save that. So this is what it'll look like on display, which mostly is using YouTube. On search. It'll look like this on the search ads. You'll have the text, description, call to action, and image. And then YouTube specifically. And you'll also show up on local ads for Gmail. So these are all really nice. That's how it incorporates the images. We're going to cancel this. We're going to go to another campaign. Uh, let's go over to... We just did the local ads. So now we're going to look at the smart ads. So creating a smart campaign is very similar. This also incorporates your Google My Business, but lets you choose keyword categories. So whenever you choose the category themes, you can choose themes here like bathroom remodel, bathroom remodeling, kitchen remodeling, so on and so forth. Uh, it'll let you choose the daily budget and ad schedule when you want the ads to show. Locations and areas, so you can choose cities, zip codes, whatever. But for the images, what you can do is write an image. You have the headlines, descriptions, save that and then you'll go to images and this is where you can actually upload the images change images and so on and so forth so for example for the rectangular image it'll give you some ad specs here but we're gonna go and highlight this actually this might have been the square one so you can use a rectangular image try another one here I might try to crop this square image. So you can save, save that, but you can only have three of them. So we'll save the rectangular ones. We can go down to square, remove this one, add a new one, and then you want a logo below that, which is one to one size. So we'll add the square image here. Great. So now we've done the same thing, and then you can choose a landing page, which I like to use the Google My Business page, and that's what the images will look like for the ad, and your business information, make sure that's correct. Cool. So now we went through the local campaigns and the smart campaigns uploading image extensions, or I'm sorry, uploading images to those campaigns. Now we'll talk about image extensions, so we can go to, let me move this down here. So typically in search campaigns, you'll have extensions. You'll be able to use extensions. So go to ads and then extensions, and then you can hit the plus button and you can go to the new image extensions, which if you want to look at what those look like, got some examples here, ads with images on search, very helpful. People love to be able to see products or even if you have services, it's great to have image extensions, so make sure you're using those. 
Uh, we'll go into one of his older campaigns. It needs to be a search campaign. You can name the campaign, create new or use existing, and then he doesn't have any campaign, so we're just gonna use this. Go to images, we can use the asset library again. Or you can upload something. This one might not work because it's the logo. Um, so choose some images here, rectangular and square, so that works for mobile and desktop. Choose the ratios, make sure you follow the size and formatting guidelines. And then you can save the image extensions and it shows what it looks like in the ad. Well, you saw that preview there. Cool, so that is how you do the image extensions. Um, let me just make sure that's saved correctly. We'll try this campaign actually. One more time, go through, choose your image extensions, your images you wanna use. Save, it should pop up here. It gives you some advanced options if you wanna use certain hours. But if you have headline and text, this is what it'll look like. It probably isn't gonna save for me because we don't have a thorough search campaign built out. Um, last but not least would be if you create display campaigns. Oops, let me go back here. So if you go to campaigns, I need to make sure I'm on the right account, okay. So for campaign type, if you wanna use display campaigns, which are image ads showing on other websites, like blogs and networks and YouTube and so on and so forth, um, that would be considered like more branding and consideration, where you can go to create a custom campaign, go to display, you can choose a call to action, or I'm sorry, conversion action here, um, to make sure Actually, add your website. I'm sorry, this one takes a little bit longer. So you'll name the campaign. And I'm just going through these in a really quick method. You know, choose your location, your language. You have other settings below, like time of day, what devices you want to show on, campaign URL options, ad schedule and rotation. Don't worry about any of that. We're going to go over here. You can uh, bid based on conversions or other actions. And set a target cost per action if you want. We're gonna skip that, go to next. And then targeting, you can choose your targeting or have it choose for you. And then you're gonna create the ad. So fill out your ad information here. And then when you get down to images, this is of course where you add the images you wanna use. And you can use the same images. I like to suggest using canva.com if you wanna create customized images, you can log log into your account or sign up for free. You can pull in different images, um, photos, and customize those into their own display designs. So choose these below, you can choose a bunch of them, and then you can save, and then you can do the same thing for logos. Make sure to choose your logo, choose more than one. And then you can choose headlines, descriptions, all these call to actions. And these will show up on other various websites. There's more information on their support forums and resources. And so these ads will look like this. They're very visual. These are on you know, mobile, desktop, other websites. You know, you've probably all seen these banner ads before. Uh, these are, I believe, programmatic where they're responsive display ads. So you don't need to upload the exact ad format. You just put all the information you want. Your, your URL, business name, logos, images, call to actions. You can even upload videos um, in text. And then it'll format these for you. So that's about it. Uh, display is also similar to remarketing. So similar process there if you want to retarget people that have already been to your website. So we covered smart ads, local ads, display ads, and image extensions. The sizes and specs are on their help channels and forms. Like I said, I hope this was helpful. Uh, I know it can get a little, tricky, a little tricky doing this and building these out. If you have any questions, let me know. Like I said, my name's Mac Frederick, founder of Momentum Digital here in Philly. Been making videos for almost seven years now. So uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. It really helps with the algorithm and getting more people to see these videos so we can help them out as well they're small business owners or marketers and uh make sure to check us out on our website needmomentum.com and you can find me on instagram at mac frederick thanks for your time hope this was helpful leave a thumbs up if so and uh we'll see you in the next one good luck google ads talk to you soon